hi to Chaco. If he did, he just get you uh, and that again. Did he play random? And yes, he did. If he's playing random, guys, he just got and that twice. Now he's killing this ogre. Now he's killing this ogre. Four ghouls here. One is being uh, killed here by Demon Hunter. Can he kill the cool running for his life? But he can he run fast enough? No, he does have aura. Oh, there's no Nerubian tower. The ghoul goes down. And that's a level two on the Demon Hunter. Blood Wrath. But the archer went down as well. And the Demon Hunter gets around it. No. Beautiful dispel here on the skeleton. Uh, make sure that the Demon Hunter gets out of that uh, situation there. And then it gets around it. Thanks to that dispel. Good job for Stosetta Priest. Let me pat him a little bit. There. Demon Hunter. Death Knight is kind of angry with him though. He wants him dead. He has one more coil. This is, uh, he's level 2. So coil is 100 damage. Oh nice around there. This Demon Hunter will have to TP out. Beautiful. Not moving his Death Knight in the range of the Mana Burn. Perfect play there. By Infi. Infi's micro is really good guys. Uh, there are some archers. If he creeping over here, let's see more ghouls. Perfect, perfect, nice game. My cat is sitting next to me. He's uh, being quiet. He's being a good cat. And these four top jerkers are going down. This uh, null overseer is going down as well. Death Knight is almost level three. What do we have over here? The demon hunter creeping over here. He does have claws of deck. This guy is going to kill it. Yes, yes. And these two trolls killing the dragon. This is pretty risky here by uh, Rudan, by the way. Is it? I feel like it is. Because if he gets creepjacked, everything is going to die. The demon hunter is going to be surrounded. The trolls are going to die first. And uh, it would be GG. But since he had to TP out, he has to take some risks to get back in the game. Uh, Flute of Accuracy, of course, pretty nice item. I like it much better than Scourge Bone Chimes, even though, you know, even though he's going bears. Your bears usually don't do that much damage. They're just tanking. They're just tanking. Your bears get killed by the false worms. Our forces are under attack. There's a uh, Ultra Vision again. Oh, let's see what we get over here. Did he keep this one as well? No. Let's see. He has Illusion and the Ring of Protection. He grabbed uh, this one. Now he's creeping this one with two illusions and only a solo death knight. Hardly took any damage on the death knight. Uh, Book of the Dead is uh, is not the best. Angel of Lore. We can use it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, nice death knight there on the death knight and the lava guy. Uh, Fire Lord. 50 mana drained means there's no mana on the death knight. And the lava guy doesn't have mana for a second lava spawn anytime soon. He's getting more ghouls graveyard. But uh, second of all, we have a fire lord second against night elf is so infi, infiash, infiash, uh, infiesque. This ghoul is at five hit points. Why does it kill him? Okay, finally kills him. This other ghoul goes down as well. Nice mana burn for 61. There's a book of the dead, but uh, he dispels some skeletons. Where's the wisp? I don't see any wisp. He could cancel an angel of lore, but wait, does he have no wisps? Here's a wisp. That's the closest wisp all the way in the back in the base. These uh, archers, uh, the skeletons are killing everything. Well, the demon hunter is uh, trying to kill the death knight. And the fire lord is uh, mana burned there for 15. There's a detonate. But the first little uh, berserker went down anyway. There's not a lava spawn that uh, this one multiplied into two. So uh, that's where he came from. The death knight decides to retreat, but the lava monster guy, fire lord. He's screwed. He's going to die here. Uh, maybe he can kill the panda. Or maybe he can get out of the base here. The archer is being annoying though. Oh, he's going for the panda. He's still one skeleton alive, by the way. Oh my god, he gets a panda. And he does lose the fire lord. What a beautiful fire lord play there. And this uh, love spawn goes down. Skeleton running for his life. -y. And it does go to the demon hunter. Death Knight just uh, walking around. Let's see. This is a uh, slaughterhouse. This is a temple of the damned. Double temple of the damned. Are we gonna see a uh, wagon? Necro wagon? Or uh, Meat Mancer? 
Are we going to see Meat Mancer here? This uh, ghoul thing a lot of damage. He's going to die. There's a dead ghoul. But the Death Knight coming back in. He's a panda. He's a... Yeah, he's over there. It's definitely Necromancers. Shouldn't the tree be set to fire after punching out Fire Lord? Research complete. No. Our are under I mean, if you uh, if you make a fire in your backyard and you uh, put it out with your shoes, the shadows you extinguish it. Your shoes aren't on fire, right? That's not how it works. Anyway, uh, the panda and demon are creeping over here. Panda's level two. There's a coil on the archer, but the archer survives. 16 hit points. Fire Lord has this orb, by the way. Orb of uh, I'm gonna win this game. He summons some skeletons. Use those to to creep, I guess. I've never thought about this. Using necromancers to creep. Using the skeletons to creep. And I don't think anyone has ever thought about this. You always uh, keep the mana for when you fight. But why not use the skeletons to creep? That's so smart here. Infi with the new place here. N is this a new meta now? The new meta in, in Dead First Night Elf. Wow, this is amazing here. He's getting more of these guys. They're master already, aren't they? Yes, he's master already. And guys, don't remember, he has more than just skeletons. Raise that. He also has Unholy Frenzy, which is amazing on this Fire Lord, now that it has the orb. It will do amazing damage. He also has uh, one more spell, Cripple. Cripple is amazing on the Demon Hunter, but not if there's too many good Dryads, and we have uh, too many Dryads. Uh, does he now see the Necromancers? He sees the Necromancers. This spell is a Lava Spawns for some free XP. Demon Hunter is level 4, the Panda is level 2. Man, this Demon Hunter is going to be level 6 this uh, game, guys. This Demon Hunter is definitely going to be level 6. Because, you know, because Infi is mass summons. And here we have mass dispel. And that's the easiest way in Warcraft 3 to get the uh, experience. Dispel the summons. We have some sheep over here. Uh, he should probably kill them. If he's ever going to have to defend against Necro Wagon or Meat Mancer. These are two extra bodies. To summon extra skeletons from, so he should probably kill them now and get rid of the bodies ASAP. Ancient of Wind for fairy dragons, he's going fairy dragons, those are very nice. There's a coil and uh, ooh, soul burn, so he, he has to use the info potion for that mana burn. Oh, we have the upgraded skeletons, by the way. I think he also has the upgrade for the extra 15 seconds, yes. Okay. Okay, and cripple look at cripple. This is such a good spell man, but he gets this spell because drives are in balance uh, This dry takes some damage as well. There's a haste. There's a breath of fire uh, Manor burn. No, no manor burn. I'm not sure why he stopped his coil uh, Fire Lord taking a lot of damage. He goes down uh, But this drive here Let's go down as well. This cool as well. We have a lot for death knight gets mana burned in the face one more time more skeletons Skeletons winning the game. We do have a meat wagon and he's getting the upgrade for more bodies for uh, Exhume Corpses. Ex Exhume? So that means that uh, it is Meat Dancer. What are these skeletal mages doing here? Why are they not? Why are they moving back? They're afraid. This is like Warhammer Total... What is it? Total Annihilation? Where... Uh, this game is all about managing their moral, 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 no, mor morale, morale, is, I'm not sure if that's an English word. <laughs> that's a Dutch word I feel like, but it's all about uh, having your units not run away from the fights. Uh, this demon hunter got crippled by the way, there's a dispel. Cripple is such an amazing spell, it's kind of like Cyclone, only better. Uh, the reason though, we don't see it as often. I don't know. I'm not sure why. Oh, yeah. It's because necromancers are weaker than dudes of the Talon. They do way less damage. And I don't know if they have less hit points. I feel like they have less hit points as well. 385? I don't know. How much hit points does the dude of the Talon have? Anyway, all these uh, guys are about to die. Where's the Lava Lord? 
The lava, we need the lava lord. I'm talking about all this other bullshit. And meanwhile, Infi just losing this game. Oh, this one almost killed a dryad. Infi was probably uh, playing a bit too aggressive over here. He should have waited for the lava lord to come back, the fire lord. This is a necromancer, this is a dryad. This is a ghoul. This is a necromancer, necromancer. But uh, I'm sure more units died that turned into skeletons. Hey Chaco, how have you been? I've been doing absolutely amazing and great and all of that other positive goodness. Uh, we have a fairy dragon. Do you believe in the Big Bang in the television series? If so, what was the world like before the Big Bang and what made the Big Bang to initiate? I, it's not that I believe in it. It's not that I don't believe in it. It's that I, I don't care, man. <laughs> I don't think about it. I'm like, sure, maybe. I guess so. Do you know they got the mana burn? I'm not sure what there was uh, before and what initiated it, uh, but maybe I can think up about something. There's a nice breath of uh, fire. Uh, this uh, this necromancer went down. This uh, bear tank, a lot of damage. He's, he's out. Uh, look at this cripple. Cripple, by the way, lasts uh, 10 seconds, I believe, on heroes. Which is like one of the longest out of any spells in this game. Most spells on the heroes last very sh short, but cripple. 10 seconds. You know, and you know what to cripple does? I'll, I'll read it for you guys. Reduce the movement speed by 75%, attack rate by 50%, and damage by 50% of an enemy target, uh, of a target enemy unit. So it pretty much uh, notifies a demon hunter or a blade master. Unfortunately, it's 175 mana, and the drives can easily dispel it. There's a staff of the bear. Necromancer underrated. I think they should definitely um, buff them a little bit. Like the damage is so low, eight to nine damage. We know uh, Banshees and Druids of Talon do 11 to 13. So that's uh, a lot more damage. Well, uh, what do we have? 49 against 50. Uh, Coil there on the Demon Hunter. Do we see a Breath of Fire? Haste, Breath of Fire and all the Necromancers. Do we have a heal school actually for Infi? Don't see any. He does have uh, plenty of mana here on the Death Knight. But uh, we also have a mana potion still on this Panda. Remember, Soul Burn can be dispelled by the Dryad. So, oh, the next Breath of Fire doing so much damage. There is a heal school available. Death Knight, uh, maybe should have crippled this Panda when it was trying to retreat from it. Or maybe he should kill it. He does have an info potion though. Two more necromancers dying with some of skeletons. Uh, beautiful detonates here by the wisps. And this meat wagon just from the flank, just trying to kill these dryads. Uh, doing a lot of damage to the dryads. A lot of dryads are pretty low hit points. Maybe the skeletons can uh, pick them up. Another breath of fire kills the statue. Doing more damage to the necromancers here in the back. Two of the necromancers very low on hit points. This uh, dryad does go down. Demon are under attack by the fire lord. Meanwhile, the, the, the how do you call this hero? Death Knight has used his mana, but. Uh, mana stone, but uh, Panda and the Love Trouble is going to die here. And with the death of the Panda, do we still have a chance here for Infi? Uh, let's see, Infi 43. Yeah, he's just ahead in supply. I guess Necromancers are the new meta. The Meat Wagon is still alive as well, but uh, yeah, he's going to survive. Fire Lord he is going to survive. Coil on the Demon Hunter has to use the Info Potion, but after his Info Potion is done, what is he going to do? We have a Destroyer here as well, by the way, for Infi. Oh, this. He can block maybe with Skeleton. 33 hit points. No, it dispels the skeleton anyway. And this width is dead. We have a fairy dragon fighting against a, a skeleton. That's not a fight you want to take if you're a fairy dragon. Infi doesn't play serious at all. <laughs> oh, really? I thought this was the uh, new meta here. But he is winning against Rudan. Rudan, I assure you, he doesn't want to lose against this. He's playing serious. <laughs> he doesn't want to lose against Necro uh, Necro Wagon or Meat Man, or whatever you want to call it. Two destroyers. There was a detonate on the skeletons. Uh, Fifty spike against thirty-nine. Here comes a demon under mana burn on something, maybe. Yes, there are mana burn on the for twenty-six on the. Uh, Necromancer, we have two triads. Okay, you know what the trick is, right? First you send a lot of skeletons in, 
Then the dry disp use other mana dispelling the skeletons, and then you can cripple the demon hunter. And then when the demon hunter is crippled, it's an easy win. That's uh that's a strategy here. So there's more skeletons. Is the demon hunter close to level six? I I yes! I, I told you guys Demon Hunter is gonna be level six. Unfortunately, Demon Hunter level six that's crippled is still nothing. Cripple is uh, better than metamorphosis. So Infi's strategy, if he uh, if it works out, is still going to win here. Skeletons, lava spawns as well. That also needs to be dispelled. Also, he needs an uh, unholy friends here on this fire lord. Oh, this uh, guy takes so much damage. Gets a coil. He survives for now. Oh, panda's back though. Mana burn for on death knight. There's a breath of fire doing so much damage. There's metamorphosis. Where's the cripple? Uh, or a TP out, that would be nice as well. Doesn't have a TP. He's uh, going for the meat wagon. And this metamorphosis demon hunter killing everything. Gets rid of the meat wagon. Fifty-two spike is uh, forty-three. This uh, this necromancer goes down. What is the meat wagon doing here? Infy with the shitty micro here. Look how bad Infy's micro is. And here I'm saying every game. That Infi has one of the best micros in the world. But then this meat wagon just walking over there. He did survive. I guess I have to take it, have to take it back. Beautiful micro there by Infi saving his meat wagon. He was just baiting the demon hunter, I guess. There's a mana burn. 69 mana burn. Do have cripple. Look at this cripple. Demon hunter does minus 12 damage and he attacks so slow. He moves so slow. But there's a dispel. But do have more cripple. Do we have more cripple? Oh, he kills that uh, mana burn 131. There's another cripple. And oh, did he just dispel metamorphosis? That did look like it. Kappa. <laughs> definitely looked like he dispelled metamorphosis. Uh, there are some skeletons. Better run, Rudan. Run. Let's see, we have uh, more mana burn. There it is. Kills every mana burn. Pretty much just kills the necromancer. I don't think uh, you should let the demon hunter just mana burn your necromancers. Every time he comes close to one, just uh, cripple him. There's another mana burn. 79. Kills another necromancer. Uh, the dry soul survives. It's 54 spike against 40. Infi is looking pretty strong. These units are all weak. But uh, demon hunter. Oh, the panda's level 6. Uh, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. Demon hunter is. Uh, Almost metamorphosis this time again. Hey, long days off. Welcome back to the stream. There's a mana burn for 31 on the Death Knight. But he doesn't even have mana for metamorphosis. Although he could easily, easily buy something for mana. He still has a little bit of gold left. Left. 300 and here 400. This Age of Wind does go down. So no more Fairy Dragons. I guess Fairy Dragons doesn't make too much sense. I mean, it makes sense, but uh, the Skeleton Mages just take care of them too easily, easily. Death Knight and the uh, other hero, Flash Fire, Fire Lord are out of mana. The Panda has plenty of mana to kill everything, of course. He needs to cripple these heroes, man. Cripple the, these heroes and move away from both the panda and the demon hunter. Don't let them use their spells. You can easily creep, cripple the panda and walk away from him while killing him with the fire lord, of course. Fire lord does so much damage, while at the same time, unholy frenzying the fire lord. I think this could actually be a very legit strategy if uh, he practices it a little bit. Only happy. Oh, there's a nice death light. Look at these whisper in the back. They just can detonate and dispel everything. Why are they not doing anything? There, they detonated this one. They are nice, detonate. Uh, Fire Lord runs for his life. You have a level 6 demon hunter here. Where's the cripples? I guess he's out of mana, actually. <laughs> I guess all the necromancers are out of mana. He has to retreat here. This is some meat wagons on the retreat. He could kill this uh, dryad, maybe. We always have a level 6 demon hunter. What are we going to... Uh, death Knight. Are we going to see the ultimate Death Knight? That would be ultimate Kappa. That would be such a kappa move. Uh, there's a cripple, and even a uh, death knight can kill a demon hunter with a uh, cripple. Demon hunter taking a lot of damage. Do we have another cripple? No, but we do have a staff, and we have some birdies in the air. Look at them. Oh, there was another birdie. Oh, a necromancer snipe here. He could have used uh, a spell there. 
An unholy frenzy. Before he died. Or maybe the demon hunter or the bear. Just to do damage. But unholy frenzy, if you think you're not gonna fight your opponent for a while. Does do, uh, let's see, 45 times 4. 90, 180 damage. So he would probably just dispel it with the dryad, but still it's uh It's nice. Well, let's see, he's 49 against 28 supply. These heroes though are so strong. If he turns, he's gonna sit down over there. Do we have expansion over here? Yes, of course. Of course. This game might still go on for another uh, 15 minutes. However, in 15 minutes, we have to we have to cast the GCS Western Qualifier. So hopefully it won't take longer than 15 minutes. Steven want to take some damage. Oh, there's an only fancy. I've been waiting for this all game long. Why so late, Infi? Why so late? Now we see the true power of uh, Necromancers. Unholy Frenzy. And the Demon Hunter is... Why is he all by himself? He can so easily be crippled and killed. Why doesn't he kill him? Infi, that's a free kill. He could have won the game there. But instead he goes uh, and goes and kills something else. This Demon Hunter, well, could have died. But instead he goes and kills his unit. Look how fast they attack. Oh, well. Plus 75% attack speed, guys. That bear is dead. Level 6 Death Knight. And he's not... Yes, he did pick Animate Dead. How Infi-esque there to pick Animate Dead. <laughs> Infi is such a troll. There is a cripple on the Death Knight, but this time there are dries nearby. So, uh, Demon Hunter, I mean. This time there are dries nearby, so they can just dispel. Okay, let's see who wins this fight. He's not gonna fight it even. Uh, I think it would go to Infi anyway. I don't think Infi can lose the fight anymore. Oh, he loses a Necromancer. How many Necromancers does he have? Six. His expansion is up almost. There are only two Wisps though. There are five uh, Ecolites mining on the other side. This Necromancer uses. Unholy Frenzy on himself. Hope that killed himself, so uh, to, not, to n deny XP. And the Demon Hunter just uh, killing whatever is in front of him. There's a beautiful breath of fire. He's crippled though. And this, uh, this Demon Hunter is staffed out. Fifty-seven against twenty-nine supply here. This panda taking a lot of damage. Where is more cripple? Where is the cripple? Oh, the de the guys are too far behind. I'm not sure if they have mana anyway. Oh, they do. Oh, the shield returns in danger. There's a mana burn. Hundred fifty mana mana burn on the fire lord, I believe. Is he going for the tree? He's going for the tree. Oh, we have a wisp. Cripple the wisp. No, the the, crip the, the wisp detonated. 39 mana burn. Okay, well, there's a breath of fire. The fire lord uh, is still at 50% hit points. This bear running for his life. There's another mana burn. Let's see we, who wins the fight. Where's the... Oh, the Death Knight. Pretty long hit points. Uh, he's trying to kill the Death Knight, but the Death Knight gets away. The Fire Lord, however, uh, is level 5 now. And another Dryad went down. The Cripples on the Panda. Cripple on the Demon Hunter here, maybe. Use the Unholy. Unholy. Oh, it gets a dispel. It kills the Death Knight. Do we have Cripple? Is he out of Cripple? I guess he's out of Cripple. Uh, but, you know what? The Death Knight died. The bears, one bear dies. This bear will probably survive. Do, does he have mana juice? He do, or mood juice? A little bit. Does have a little bit. Fire Lord by himself though. He's gonna... 
build this expansion. It started with 900 hit points. And the dry died. Last one is uh, multiplying here. It's just heroes right now. Level 7 panda, level 6. Uh, sorry, level 6 panda, level 7 demon hunter. But he does have mana. Oh, that's mana for the ultimate. Remember, the ultimate of the panda can dis use dispel. Storm Earth and Fire can use dispel. And there are come the wizards. There's the demon hunter. Is he can he get that fire lord? He's going for a fire lord. There's beautiful breath for fire. Uh, these uh oh the demon hunter in trouble though. We have the panda ultimate, but demon hunter died. Do have dispel? We do have dispel over. Uh... Oh no, yeah, dispel magic. He could he can use dispel magic. He uh, doesn't use it though. In fact, he just got killed. Didn't use a single with dispel magic. Now the panda. Two of the pandas got killed. There's only one panda left. Kills the banshee. There was a banshee there. There's banshees. Adapt banshees. There it is. GG. Infi beats Rudan.